Moving to the Augusta area, but you're not interested in living in the city? Well, we're exploring the suburbs and we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Kimberly Lahani with Keller Williams in Augusta and the Georgia Coast Homes team. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna explore the suburbs. Not all of us are city dwellers, and sometimes we just want a little more space, some great schools, and interesting opportunities to explore the wilds of Georgia, but still be in earshot of the city. And it makes complete sense. It's why my husband and I chose to live in a suburb and not downtown. So here we go. Number one, Evans, Georgia. Well, if you've been around this channel for any period of time, you know that we like to talk about Evans. And one of the reasons is that Money Magazine in 2020 named Evans the best place to live in the USA. Now, granted, that's 2020. Who knows what 2021 will bring? But this is why people love Evans. First of all, it's family friendly. We have some of the best schools in the area. There are wonderful parks and new developments that incorporate green space and community centers, pools, things like that. Though nearby Appling is the county seat, technically for Columbia County, all of the Columbia County government buildings are in downtown Evans. And it's where you've got all the great restaurants, there's some walkability around town, and there's really an expansion to make downtown a hot spot. So we're getting a lot of new trendy restaurants and things like that. It has an incredible library and a new performing arts center that is gonna welcome Broadway touring shows and live artists, and it's really gonna become the center of Columbia County. Evans has a population of 34,000 people and growing, and our public schools get a A+. Number two, Martinez, Georgia. So when you get here, you're gonna be really tempted to call it Martinez, and the locals are gonna say, no, 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 that is not how you pronounce Martinez. Martinez is a bit pricier, it's in Columbia County, and the reason why is you have a great access point into Augusta, and you're also really close to the Savannah River Rapids area. There's a park there, there's a towpath that people like to hike and bike along, and then there's great fishing, kayaking, paddle boarding. It's really a great place for outdoor enthusiasts. What you're gonna find in Martinez is you're gonna find properties on land, you're gonna find some new developments, again with that green space and some parks and some amenities with HOA, and you're gonna have a fabulous school system as well. Families really enjoy this area, but all sorts of people call Martinez their home, and it's really a charming area, but it doesn't really have a city center, so you gotta keep that in mind. Also, on a side note, people in Martinez tend to rent their houses out for the masters. Now this whole area, you can find masters rentals, but in Martinez, quite a few people like to rent their house out for that famous golf tournament. Number three, Aiken, South Carolina. So you're wondering why this is in the list. Aiken is a little bit further away from Augusta, but it is considered a suburb and it is extremely charming. So I don't know if you've ever heard of Aiken, but here in the CSRA, which stands for Central Savannah River Area, Aiken has quite a reputation for high school sports, for horseback riding and horse competitions and beautiful land. So you have a combination of a gorgeous downtown that's really attractive and fun with cute little local restaurants and local businesses and a thriving identity. I mean, people who are in Aiken want to be there. They want to be there for the tradition of the horses, for the feel of downtown, and it's not a big town at all. And it is considered an Augusta suburb, but I don't know if they would consider themselves an Augusta suburb but it's very easy to get into Augusta from there and quite a few of our doctors and nurses live in Aiken. You're still gonna find really affordable houses, the schools are amazing, and you have that charm of a southern town. It really knows who it is and what it is and enjoys that southern feel that you want when you think about moving to Georgia. Number four, North Augusta, South Carolina. So this is in Aiken County, but it's literally still kind of part of Augusta. It's just across the bridge and over the river. 
It is very charming. House prices are a little less than downtown Augusta. People find that charming southern house, but you know, for a little bit cheaper on the other side of the river. They have the river walk, they have the towpath. It's got a very charming downtown shop and restaurant area, and the schools are great. In fact, North Augusta is rated one of the best places to live in South Carolina. In addition to great schools, there's lots of young professionals, and again, quite a few of our medical professionals live on that side of the river and come into town you know, every day to do their work, but enjoy the luxuries of living in North Augusta. Number five, Grovetown, Georgia. We're back in Columbia County, and this is a very fast growing area. Because it's proximity to Fort Gordon, we have just a wide diversity of people coming into town for military purposes, for cybersecurity. It has a great family feel because there's a lot of young families finding new developments. There's quite a few new home builds in the area, lots of fun parks. In fact, there's talk to have even more parks. The area is just booming. And I think you're gonna see an even greater push for economic development downtown. So they do have a small downtown area and it is growing. And they actually have their own city council and they are their own incorporated city. But it is just a very quick shot down the freeway into downtown Augusta. So a lot of people who work and uh, make their livelihood in the downtown area live in Grovetown because there's just so much to offer. And you're getting those new builds that are really on trend and have that open concept feel. And so people really enjoy living down there. Number six, Harlem, Georgia. We're back in Columbia County. And I will tell you that locals from Harlem love Harlem for so many reasons. Harlem has a very small but very sweet and darling downtown, historic downtown I should say. We have the Laurel and Hardy Museum and we have lots of fun shops and places to, to eat. There's a little ice cream parlor, there's an Italian Mexican restaurant that's super fun and there's a pharmacy that also has a trendy little shop inside. You have good schools, you've got great house prices. And here, if you want property, if you want a farm, the, the prices are just amazing. You can get property and a cute three bedroom, two bath house, or even a little bit bigger. And you'll have, you know, anywhere between two to five to 10 acres of land. And so people are very attracted to that. And why wouldn't they be? There's definitely more of a rural feel to Harlem, but it is, fun and people are super friendly. And I think that if it's your speed, you may find that you wanna live in Harlem. Wanna know more about moving to Georgia? Think about subscribing. We drop a new video every Monday. And if you are interested in Evans in particular, I made a great video on the Money Magazine article on Evans being named the best place to live in the US. <laughs>